Let's, let's, let's. Use alchemy of the moon, uh, the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, uh, jawline, Saturn, next uh, time cycle. Phase. Miami to change the game, not even for the females. Everybody transformed into drill rappers, littles and youngs. You know what I'm saying? And everybody got stiff raps that look like somebody's BBL gone wrong. Shout out to God damn it. Uh, what's her name? Sonda TD. You know what I'm saying? That forgot her name. Uh, Sunday Walker. BBL go wrong. That look like some of these people raps nowadays. Little stiff. Little stiff. Metal plate. Ink pen top. Metal portion. In someone else's hand. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Y'all you know say I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You think I'm afraid of a ghost? Well, I'm going to be afraid of ghosts if I figure it out. All I got to do is go to Miami. Go to the doctor office. Dr. Miami the ghost writer. Why do I got to be afraid of the ghost then if I figured out Dr. Miami the ghost writer? Y'all don't want to do that. Let's learn witchcraft. Thanks so much for the day. Should be the all. I appreciate that for the pop art. Real stuff. Human plane in the flesh. H P I F. Human plane in the flesh on a spaceship or jet. Oh, brother, than that. I ain't never in no regular vehicle, especially in my mind. I just can't be in no regular vehicle in my mind. You know, tow trucks move too slow. Semi trucks move too slow. Cars, SUVs, sedans, they all move slow in the esoteric world. I need nothing less, nothing more, nothing more, nothing less but a spaceship. You know what I'm saying? A plane. Aircraft. Starship. Oh, I said real stuff. Little jets. I was in all kind of places and stuff like that because my mind go the distance. So in the fourth and the sixth, sixth dimension, if it was a world like the one, two, and third dimension, I'm in the sky there. I'm in the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension there. 
Oh, I'm saying? So I just jump down and become a particle, a piece of gas when I choose to, a thought when I choose to, when God don't need me. I was saying when God need me, I get out of all that stuff. I don't care about nothing. About nothing, nothing, all puns attended. Shut up. It's going to be trouble, trouble. All that real stuff, you know what I'm saying? When God need me, I dip real fast and let it, I let it be known. It's going to be trouble if any if I get bothered. You know what I'm saying? Real stuff. Uh, child the Mooney Mercury, baby. Child, I appreciate that for Bob Marley. Got a channel too. Be the all. Got a channel. Mooney Mercury, baby. Got a channel. You know what I'm saying? Real stuff. When it comes to spirit, spiritual community. You know what I'm saying? A few females got a channel too. Oh, that's instant oil candle stick. Man, give me some grace, you too. I got time for all that. I'll be seeing other people all live and stuff. Hey, I got time for all that. I'm talking about witchcraft anyway. You probably gonna make it yellow anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the real true religion. I'm about to get ready to talk. 12 minutes in, six more minutes. I'm getting ready to talk about the real true religion anyway. You might not like the way I'm talking about astrology anyway. You want me to cookie cutter it. You want me to brownie in the oven for 10 minutes it. You know what I'm saying? The oven baked minute rice it. I'm cool on that. I'm look, Y'all had y'all time for newspapers and grandmas to be rocked to sleep by newspaper astrology. I mean, you know, it's time for us to wake up 2023. Yo, Sandler, it ain't really nothing I ain't been not teaching for the longest. But, you know, just giving more constructs. God gave me better words. God gave me better character, gave better actions to, for it to be received well in this new shift. Because y'all ready for it to, uh, to use it for yourself. And not be confused based upon still being lost in your distraction. Based upon as above the shift, as below the government putting us in distractions from the shift. And you ain't got no time to think about what I've been saying. And I and through those shifts, wanting the right words or expressions I can accumulate and craft, that was right. So whatever shift I was participating in was just right for that time. But now that we all on a higher, lighter scale, now we all can learn the same stuff and a better attribute. So you can know what it actually is because it could be useful now. And you're out of certain distractions because we are in a new birth stage. You know what I'm saying? So it's about harnessing your power and doing it in a much more sufficient manner. Don't smack monkey slap nuts. Uh, I'm saying real stuff, but you know, getting into these energies and stuff. When we talk about traveling, bringing things down, um, and you know, it's all that's what the witchcraft is. You're crafting out some witchery, witch or wizard, don't matter. You craft it. The wizard, the wizard just like to do things on a masculine side. They like to use light, light magic. The witch just like to use dark magic. None of these are negative. These are just interpretations of internal, external. So when you understand you're doing magic, there's an internal way of doing it and an external way of doing it. Now, anything you come up with the mind is the witchcraft. And anything you start to do with your body end up being a ritual or a spell. So for the most part, this takes us into light magic wizard dark magic witch so whatever you can create externally with your body object creative gift or talent to point people in a direction that you're trying to make them entertain for the or pay attention to that's going to be wizardry any emotional satisfaction that you're trying to manifest from the circumstance based upon either manifesting something from the external world or materializing some type of security internally right is going to be the witchery Right now, here's how and that's going to be the dark magic. Here's how these can be played out negative when you're not the alchemist and you're on a polar shift of, you know, doing it in such a way that the shadow government may have categorized it because it goes against their government, which is why it's a rich trial and stuff like that. Or you may be doing it for negative purposes that create blood on your hands, which is one of the positive reasons why they came up with not teaching a lot of the knowledge. Here's where it becomes spooky and negative. Where individual utilize dark magic and it turns into what we use every day or negative spirits manipulation. So that's the negative side of dark magic. It's just the term manipulation. It's something simple. Y'all do it every day, but y'all don't know how to do it in good ways. So you even become a weak demon. Just being a demon, become a weaker one. So when you know how to take an emotion that you don't necessarily want to expose because you think it might be vulnerable, you create external purposes, which is false lights. It ain't what you actually want. It ain't the character that you express it that actually deals with a vulnerability. It's a false ego to protect the vulnerability, to create a delusion. Everything is in reverse. Light blinds you in the fourth, four, fifth, and sixth dimension and blinds your crown chakra that bend in to become these eyes. Your first, uh, your first eye chakra that bend in to become these eyes and those ones. It blinds that and you get caught in a delusion of what a person crafted as fake wizardry that support more of the witchery. 
aka some emotional support or something they're trying to get out of you that you don't know that's what they're getting out of you based upon the false light character or the false actions that they're showing you or the false mentality that they're showing you. So that's when it become dark magic as the negative attribute, which is the simple term manipulation. That's we're breaking down the practice of it. And when you hear the practice of it without the words and getting lost, you understand, oh, okay, that's what it is. So now you know how to do that in a better way. You could be a witch for God too. A lot of people around you may not understand. You might got an uncle that's on crack. He may not understand why you're not letting him borrow no money anymore. Emotionally, right, it's because you want him to get off crack. Externally, you're showing him other actions that don't got nothing to do with that care. Because externally, you think you might need to show a light that's more harsh than how you truly feel. You really feel soft and care for your uncle or auntie or your uh, drunk auntie or crackhead uncle. But you might have to show harsh actions and say no, like you don't care if they smoke or drink or not, for them to understand the point. That's you using manipulation for God because you're getting someone out of a desire that you and them and God know that don't lead them into no productive area. Especially if you're in a more productive position for them to even be asking you to borrow any money in the first place. So you see what I'm saying? So that's when you transmute it and you do it for God where you're doing the same thing. But you're doing it for God. It ain't what we do. It's how we do it. With all things. So you got to be a soldier if you want to be a vessel for God. Because anytime you become spiritual, God ain't going to have you doing nothing different than what everybody else in the regular world is doing. It's just God wants you to change the energy in that inanimate object so it can look closer to God. So it can look like it got more possible ways to do it. Where the individual vessel that God used you as, you show people there's a new way of doing something that's much better than the previous way that was constructed and limited. And expectations and demonic. And you brought in a new possibility and the only example of that new possibility as a piece of all possibilities, bringing a piece of that to bring a little new possibility and whatever you're being a soldier for, for your individual life to bring to a limited possible circumstance. And all spirits that's involved can see you as the Messiah or the prophet or the God vessel there. And each one teach one. Then one person can pass it along. Another person can pass it along. And hopefully y'all come together as a community and y'all doing what the Jews did. You see what I'm saying? Or the Greeks did. Or the Masons did. Just in a way more better way with the Uriel chakra. That's way more cold, colder than they stuff. You see them copying the Uriel chakra. What better, what better chakra to use? We closer to God over here. They even know better. These old men, not even just grown men, old men know better. So, God damn it, who, what, you know what I'm saying? We got to get out of our ego. I ain't in no ego. I'm on a mission for God. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're hearing it through the lens of an ego, it's because you want to be a god or goddess or something like that. It's going to boil down to that. And you don't like the angel's knowledge, and the angel will be the first one to tell you, I ain't no god. So you just going to have to, whatever you're into, you're going to have to realize that one day in your life, one eon, it's something you just in yourself. Some, some lost in yourself. You the one coming up with stuff to be lost in. Y'all ain't got nothing to do with nothing else or God's children. Damn sure no Aries. I don't want to hear none of nothing else about somebody having 14 kids because they goddamn father and 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 the, they baby dad and and the messenger that came in their mind it was a goddamn Aries. no oh, no i ain't had nothing to do with no Aries. oh no we don't go that far we don't go that far y'all said now we're gonna now we gotta keep kicking videos out like this so we can stop stuff like that y'all real real quick we don't do that no oh, i'm sad don't make me start going in on all all y'all zodiac signs Tours through Pisces. Oh, Sarah, don't make me no start now. I got to be blaming little old Aries on nothing. Oh, Sarah, real stuff. Real stuff. We ain't did nothing. We the babies, right? Don't blame us on nothing. We really the adults. Y'all you know saying because everything is in reverse. So y'all be speaking about it from spiritually, but really, if you look at it in reality, last time I checked, the firstborn, that's the oldest sister, that's the oldest brother, that's the oldest sibling. How somehow, in some way, in astrology, you're Aries first, we the youngest. Oh man, no sense. That's a point, you know. I think that was, I think some Pisces made that up because they wanted to be all the zodiac signs in one. Pisces ain't no goddamn all zodiac signs in one. Y'all made that up in some astrology book. Oh, so I would tell Pisces is a Pisces. That's it. 
That's it. Y'all you know said uh, Aquarius is an Aquarius. That's it. Y'all, once we get to the video, ain't no mixture, nothing, nobody all side. Y'all making these religions up and stuff like that. These things based on position and time. Y'all you know said, and, and, we, and we go on that dumbass line of reason and a train of thought that how come everything that accumulate in summertime don't carry on in wintertime? No, wintertime is wintertime. Summertime is summertime. These concepts is based on position positions in the sky during times not there's an accumulation from one period of time that carry over into the next period of time it should be summer and winter then it ain't winter is a whole different time pisces is a whole different time ain't no such thing as oh since pisces is last they're the accumulations like aries energy carry through taurus carry through gemini to pisces because they're born last y'all be making up all kind of all kind of religious stuff that don't make no sense in reality it don't make no sense in reality no, I got there. Well, astrology is based on time and space, not the cumulative. Time ain't linear. Where is y'all coming up with this dumb stuff from? Lord Jesus Christ. A, a Pisces is a Pisces, just like California is California. You don't drive from New York and you accumulate every, you get on your RV and drive from New York and you accumulate a shot, Chicago. You take Chicago when you drive through Chicago. You take goddamn Minnesota when you drive through St. Louis when you, all the way till you get to California. You didn't brought everything from, it don't work that way. You don't bring the street with your car and all the trees and bushes you drove through along with you when you go to California. So it ain't like that in the sky. Where y'all get that from? It ain't like that in no form of distance and travel. In no analogic matter of astronomy, math, or astrology. No, there ain't never nothing linear. Never nothing accumulate. It's always just a goddamn it time and space, and it does it there. That's it. A Pisces is a Pisces. That's it. Don't get happy. Real stuff. Y'all make up anything. All y'all doing is making up another example of how somebody lost. Yeah, then they think they are the signs. That's another form of delusion and la-la land. Yeah, y'all got to get out of that. Stop training Pisces to be lost. All right, now look, check this out. But like I said, uh, we got also got Scorpio right now in the sky. So with Scorpio, uh, moon right now is debilitated. You know, the moon fall is Scorpio. So we might not know how to deal with our emotions. Our emotions are all over the place and stuff like that. We'll say we're going through emotional transformations. I'll say we're going through emotional transformations. Part B, uh, uh, emotional births, uh, emotional deaths, emotional phoenixes, a.k.a. we just trying to get the understanding of something. That's it. Everybody trying to get an understanding of something. That's it. Everybody trying to just get some weird understanding. That's it. You want to you wanna bring, some, bring something from the surface. Bring something to the surface at, that was in the dark that you might be in the dark about. Whoever in their lost own circumstances, they was in the dark about something. So they want to get out the dark. You know what I'm saying? From an emotional space. That's all that's from. Oh yeah, did, did I say I wasn't really going to care about that? Yeah, I didn't care about that. There ain't nothing going on. Oh, it says it's instant oil vape. This is a vape. Oh, it says this is a vape. All I get on YouTube right now is see all kind of uh, energies of uh, uh, vapes and stuff like that that's being shown. It's got, I thought I got a, that's all that's missing. Uh, the way the hair growing. You know what I'm saying? But this is like the light shining and be looking to look silly and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all show sure ain't cut it, so I look like I got a nit. I ain't got no nit. Well, it looked like a neck because it was bushy. I don't know. Who cares? And then on the screen, it's not even like that. Oh, it's over the scar. Oh, okay. You can see the scar real quick. Well, I look like I got Vaseline on my scar, man. Come on, man. It's going down. I don't say real stuff. These new phones be too shiny. Oh, I'm saying creating weird images and stuff like that. Just like the goddamn moon. They ain't even a moon. It make a, it's, I, I took a picture of the moon. I should show you all the picture of the moon I took. Man, that, that's not the moon. That, it just made up some glittery picture and put some gloss on it. Like some little crayon gloss on it. And called it the moon. Man, that wasn't the moon, man. That, that ain't the moon that I took a picture of. Yo, uh, say it don't matter what position you in. You take a picture of the new Galaxy phone. You take a picture of the moon. Man, that ain't the moon, man. That's some engineered computer system software formation. I'll uh, say it's just anytime you look at the moon and start making an image in the software. 
it don't be actually taking no picture of the moon. Like they got some, it's some made up. They try to turn us on to cartoons. They they really wish we all just make an avatar so they can get us ready for this virtual reality and and, and um, uh, Grand Theft Auto type world. That's really what they doing. Believe it or not, that's really what they doing. You know what I'm So they create all all kind of all kind of weird solutions and delusions and all kind of circumstances that you'd be like, wait a minute, what's going on and things and stuff like that. Oh, this convenient. This look nice. Fifty nine ninety five Wi Fi bill. Uh, pay a hundred dollars just to get to the next level. Uh, stupid. You beat the first level, and it's like dealing with your real life, your real job now. It's like y'all you know saying it's like it's weird. Y'all got to be careful. It's weird. I Man, like I ain't doing that. This a fake. Oh, sad, real sad. I'm tired. I've been working all day. I'm tired, man. Anybody got time to keep doing like exercises, man? I like, I'm sun walking and star walking, moving forward in life. I ain't moon walking and doing ninety degree, ninety degree angles like Michael Jackson and stuff. That caused frustration. You know, I said I got, I got pancreatitis and a hernia, man. I can't do all that all the time. You too. Y'all said I ain't going backwards moonwalking and I ain't bending 90 degree angles and stuff like I'm going forward and 120 degree angles and stuff. You want to leave me alone. Oh, I'm saying real stuff. I'm, I'm doing that in life. I ain't doing these other type of weird stuff in life. You got me messed up. All right, but look, check this out right now. When we start talking about the, the witchery of it, like now you're supposed to look at these things not as if it's your zodiac sign, not as if that exact transit in the sky. But as if knowing these energies themselves and encapsulating the character out of it for yourself. Right? So, for an example, let's say we're talking about Mars, passion, motivation, and desires. Now, the, the astronomical aspect of it will be knowing where Mars at. Knowing, the, and you see what I'm saying? The timing. The astronomical aspect is the timing. Now, the spirituality of it is what character you create, what meaning you give it. Beyond astrology, because this was the space that individuals was in to even create astrology and anthropomorphizing. I'm putting you in the, the space of power. So you can understand not to be a fool. You have to understand the energies. You will come to the same conclusions that they come to a lot of times. And you'll be like, why is that dolo? Did they know something we don't know? No. The only thing they did is just use their mind in places you ain't use your mind. The reason why I said y'all gonna come to the same conclusions is because what other conclusion is you gonna come to to name something if the sun is at the beginning of something that we call spring that they call spring and it does that regardless whether you want to come up with some or not so technically you're still going to come to this the same conclusion of making a term that represent first just like they did so don't get beside yourself just because some of this information is coming from individuals you don't like don't forget they got a brain just like you so a lot of the things that they're going to come to conclusions they're trying to help themselves and if they got a brain just like you it can help you too they it ain't like they're in the mind state of coming up with something to harm you they're in the mind state of coming up with something to understand themselves because they have reprobate just like you i don't know why y'all be giving too much power that allowed them to create these dumb wars because y'all believe they stuff that don't work unless they use force they they don't have to use force if y'all believe it you will be in a mental cage yourself in the household with your family without them knocking on y'all door or, or hanging y'all upside down on crosses duh duh wake up knock knock who's there nobody home i thought somebody was there i thought somebody was there i've been knocking for 10 years I thought somebody was there. I was watching Michael Keaton Batman too much with Seal on the Batman soundtrack. Oh, sad, but we gonna get we gonna get it. We gonna get it, y'all. We gonna get it. We gonna get it, y'all. Just make sure we go. Uh, we gonna get there. I ain't mad. I ain't upset. Cause I, I I be talking about humanity, not specific people. Humanity. Don't be a narc. I'm Uriel. I'm talking to humanity, and a lot of times, more on a percentage scale, more than often. I'm talking to people that like run the world and stuff. They feelings get hurt when they hear me talk. They feelings get hurt. So for the most part, I'm in a situation where like I got to be responsible for my choice of words on a magnum magnifying magnitude scale. Magnifying micro magnitude macro scale. I got a Carter scale mind. 
You know what I'm saying? So they be watching and stuff. They be like, yeah, this 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 the type of mind right here. We got to keep in raps for ourselves. Everybody try to keep me for themselves. When the shadow government do it, it look like me getting demonetized, but them secretly watching and taking all the knowledge and stuff like that and be like, yeah, Uriel just for us. Uh, so I don't like the way they do it. I like when the, the way females do it. I don't like the way the shadow government do it. I don't like the way they do it. It don't benefit me. Uh, so it put me in a situation where I got to do something they want me to do for them. That It's still me because I'm Uriel. They can't stop that, but I get to do it for with them again. I don't like all that. Uh, I said that's phony sometimes. I ain't a good participant. I ain't a happy camper. I came down here as an Aries this time, just Antares Moon and uh, Leo Ascendant. Like, they got this, like, my turn to be on front stage. Like, I'm trying to be always the secretary to give y'all good knowledges because y'all humans and y'all could come together faster with, just with my knowledge. I ain't trying to do that this time. It's my turn. I don't say real stuff. I ain't got time. I don't want to wear no bucket hat this time. I don't want to wear no bow, no bow tie this time. None of that. I'm good this time. You know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous this time. You know what I'm saying? Real stuff. Indigenous man. Indigenous man. Uh, I sound like the Trojan man. Trojan horse. Uh, you got an Indian man on there. Uh, the, the indigenous man. I uh, said the original being. I don't want to be no other stuff no more. Be a part of at the round table no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm already upset. Y'all ain't want to call me and, and discuss gas prices and stuff like that. I'm already upset. I don't even want to play no more then. I don't want to play play fun and, and family no more. I'm cool with all that. Y'all y'all alone. Y'all on y'all own with that towards the east uh, cover up uh, eyeball knowledge and stuff like that. You on your own with that. I don't care about Boaz and stuff like that. The pillar shop. Uh, it ain't no pillars no more. I'm changing that now. So don't get mad at me. Don't get mad that the world ain't going to believe in light no more. I'm sorry. Y'all should have put me in on gas prices and stuff. I'm sorry. Like I'm about to give all this esoteric good knowledge and stuff. Like, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Y'all use the light good enough. All right, we about to use something else now. Flight and all this other stuff. Uriel chakras. We no longer care about the light. We no longer want to go into the light, follow the light. We don't want to receive light. We want to make our own light now. Produce our own intellectual properties and knowledges and atmospheres and new glorified bodies. I'm sorry. You should have had me in on the, at the round table for the gas prices. I, maybe I would have, like, chilled out a little bit. Y'all you know, took too long. Took too long. Uh, now I don't care no more. Now I'm making everybody not care about war. I'm about to make everybody not care about the industry. It's y'all fault, though. Shouldn't have tried to take me out the Bibles and stuff like that. That's y'all fault. It ain't my fault. Don't try to try to shut me down. You can't shut me down. I can't shut God's children down. But don't be, like, acting sassy. You know what I'm saying? Like, feisty is okay. You know what I'm saying? Sassy, not okay. That's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Sassy, not okay. You know what I'm saying? A little feisty, that's okay. Sassy, not okay. That's sassy. How come we don't see y'all? You know what I'm saying? Don't try to come out now with my knowledge, te teaching people five Bible knowledge and stuff like that. That's being sassy. Y'all should have been came out and just been feisty and fiery and stuff and passionate about it. Y'all want to hide in a secret and act like it's a secret. I come on earth, make it look like it's weak. Now y'all want to come teach it now. Y'all want to be all online, all in the videos, all in the background. Here come this Jew. Here come this Mason now teaching it, looking happy-go-lucky like they ain't never did nothing really in their real life but build a brick. And, and then they want to say, oh, here, here. This what this mean, y'all. This what this. Nah, it's too late. I don't care about it now. Y'all saying real stuff. It's all kind of, all you got to do is get online right now, type in Jewish or Bible, or type in Masonic knowledge or something. They the first people now. Once upon a time, it was just once a, one little smack monkey in the corner, one little smack monkey in the corner, and they, it wasn't them. It was somebody like me. As soon as we come shitting on that shit now, here they go now all over the place. Oh, that's what the first people you see in the algorithm. Oh, happy horse face. I'm like, look at these cats. Look at the eye about nothing. Like, these cats trying to take their throne on the back and look like regular citizens again, knowing they straight from Zoolander. Oh, I'm saying. Real stuff. I got time for all that. I got time for all that. I don't hear all that. Oh, this is what this mean, y'all. This is what this mean now. Here, Manly P. Hall, y'all. Oh, it's too late. Thanks so much for the donation. Uh, Hector, I appreciate that for Bob Mart. Real stuff. Real stuff. Yeah, it's too late. Uriel here. It's too late. Oh, I'm 
But yeah, uh, but for the most part, yeah, energies itself. So first, it's about knowing the energies. Then it, you can encapsulate these energies and do them at any time. But knowing the possibilities is what you're going to have to be aware of. Because knowing the possibilities is actually going to put you in a situation of knowing how to do it, even if you're still trying to do what you're going to do anyway, and it's at the wrong time, wrong transits in the sky. So astronomy is based on timing. Astrology is based on spiritually using your power, creating a mental form, a character out of that timing. But you're going to be out of whack if you're a fool that lack knowledge because you know certain timings has certain energies and you just can't just be creating anything. And this is what y'all do 24 seven, which is why y'all manifest situations out of y'all hands. And y'all need the shadow government way of constructing these thoughts to be able to manifest their things in your life. So you don't know how to put yourself in a position where you know how to make a money funded system and someone to care about it due to the fact that you lack in knowledge. So your best way of survival or feeling secure and supported with shelter is utilizing their system in order to do it. You see what I mean? You got to make things simple before you get lost. And your whole rhetoric and fight in this world don't have nothing to do with the actual fight. It's shit that you made up to be lazy around. It's stuff that you made up that really ain't nothing at all. And you're really just trying to find a, a, a shortcut. And hopefully that could be something that some God could come in your life and put you in a position. Because you, you're just really lazy. It really just laziness, you know what I'm saying? And spirituality and God children don't deal with laziness. You know what I'm saying? We in a situation where you'll get punished if you're lazy. Like anytime you're not doing something, like when you're too in your lower chakras where you're distracted in the world or doing something with your body that you're not supposed to, uh, you God punish you in extreme ways that other individuals don't experience that don't know no better. Once you know better, you got to do better. So things start to work out mystically for you and even in negative situations. Even to illnesses, it worked out mystically for you, not necessarily physically. You'll go to the hospital a lot of times. The doctors may not even necessarily know how to heal you or fix you or all the way know what's wrong with you a lot of times. So you'll be doing yourself a disjustice or disservice, even trying to go to the hospital a lot of times if you are a spiritual individual. Because a lot of your physical interactions and stimuli and experiences and events a lot of times it's purely in a space that if you're spiritual enough, you will know that it, that why it ain't really physical, why it's mental and why it's that, that and the third. That's your, your little battle you'll be having with God. Anyone who's spiritual know what I'm talking about. Know what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Things become abnormal for you. Things become a little spooky, a little bit more weird where it's not average. And it could appear to be like you going through the same similar situation that another average individual is going through. And it's not that way. You can't handle it the same way. You can't come up with the same solution the same way. You won't get the same reciprocation out of the family, friend, associate or group work the same way. Relationship the same. Nothing to be the same way. You spiritual people know if you spiritual, if you don't any and you ain't scared to experience like express your creative gifts. You know what I'm talking about when you start going through certain things. Ooh, big bud. But yeah, you, you, you know, because it's a spiritual thing and it's no one to blame. But the way it's playing out, if you was to put your shoes into a regular person around you, like a friend, family, associate or coworker, you will be able to blame. You will be able to play victim or you will be able to bl blame yourself. Or you, but when you're on a spiritual mission, it ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, and you might still be going through a similar situation. It's weird. But. God show you God. It might not be nothing like you've seen before. Or there ain't nothing to see. But the something that God show you, you know God is through it. So you just allow it to go through you. Don't think it's happening to you or for you. Let it go through you. Just play the image. Don't be like something, a victim. It happening to you. Don't be like something like an ego. You think everything's supposed to happen for you. No, just be the image. Let it go through you and things of that nature. Because it, it truly ain't you. It's something that you're being used for. You're being used for a greater purpose. Your, your small spirit is being used to bring all the spaces, all the spirits together. So that's something you ain't, you really can't control like that. Because even though all of us as spaces together is that thing, we all created forms to connect with each other. And the more spirit that, the more of the spirits that's out of their own mind and out of this world, whatever ability they create is more of a concept that the whole world can agree with also. So it's like 
That's how God works. That's how all possibilities work. So even from your limited perspective, it'll be able to reach multiple backgrounds. It'll be able to reach multiple ladder scales. Now, in this specific lecture, understanding the timing is the astronomy. Understanding how to create a character out of the timing is the astrology. Now, there's a practice to, to be aware so you're not a fool. To sit back and understand the characteristics of a timing, the sun being in a certain time of the year, you observe nature, the characteristic, you observe your own micro nature, how you're reacting to it, all the way down to what the mind produces to become physical as the organ to create inside out as the, as the representations of how we sustain ourselves in this reality. So for the, mo for the most part, right, you have to look at things simple. Your mind is playing out different. You might be so lost into distractions, you're not paying attention. All the way to the way the stimuli work in different seasons to make you need a coat in one season and then want to take your coat off in another season. The whole event play out different. And if you're not paying attention to these type of things, this is why you're not understanding the real true religion or astrology or whatever the case you may be or you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? The, the real esoteric concept. True religion. You know what I'm saying? So when you put yourself in this situation, right, you start to observe and now you can start to see a character, right? Now, for an example, would it be a character that you will come to the same conclusion that they came to? The sun being in the first house, right? So that being first is something that has to do with rise, right? Because look, from an astrology, spiritual perspective, if you observe in nature and if you if you observe in the sun at the beginning of the spring before you called it that name, you will see something happen in nature that you do with yourself. On a micro scale, 6 a.m. in the morning, you know that's when your body naturally start to build adrenaline, whether you are sleepyhead or not. And then for the most part, you can see in nature, plants rise, start to grow during that period of time of the year and stuff, right? So a characteristic out of the sun during that period of time will be rise, ascension, birth. These are characteristics. Now, you could take that character from the sun being in that position and harness it as a craft. OK, so now in your mind, it don't matter if the sun is in Aries anymore. Let's say the sun going to Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. The sun play out differently at those times. Now, you could take the energy of birth. You created a character astrology wise at that time. Astronomy, the timing. Sun being in the beginning of spring, astrology, the character, you start to construct. But you wasn't a fool because you was observing the reality of something. So you'll be like, okay, rise, birth, and ascension. Okay, these are like terms I can, I can utilize as a character. So anytime I'm experiencing death, fall, or I'm, or I'm experiencing exaltation or highest ascension, a.k.a. like summer, it'll be falling as above because everything is in reverse. But as below... It's like they talking about go up, but whatever the different season and the sun that is in, it might be creating a different character. You will take the character of, that you created when it's in Aries, mix it with the character of whatever you come up with when it's in a different transit, blend it together and come up with an attribute. So you'll be able to give birth and arise to something even in the summertime, even in the fall time, even in the winter time. Now, whatever you direct that energy towards will be the thing that arise. So you could be directing that energy towards if you want to be a musician. You could be directing that energy towards if you want to uh, act or be an act. You see what I'm saying? We're making it simple. So whatever you're directing that energy towards, that's you building it in a solid world. But the character itself adds flavor so it can be. It's an accumulation thing. If you know the mechanisms of the world, it's an accumulation for something to become solid. So in order for your dreams to become true, your liquid and gas dreams... You have to do something to produce the results in the physical world as an accumulation of it. So when you add more thoughts and feelings and then you actually put in the energy work of all those thoughts and feelings of the original mother and father, the original thought and feeling that you try to spring up upon. Then all the sons and daughters of it accumulate as something that condenses and become an actual event that play out. That's on a pure uh, basis of that characteristic that you brought down here. 
So you could be thinking in your head, you want to do hair, you want to play basketball, but you ain't did it yet. All these thoughts and feelings you start to add on is the you creating the concepts of what you need to do to go about it. Eventually, your spirit ate so many stars, it has to shit. As it shit, it produces that fleshly fluid because it's, it's an accumulation. It becomes adrenaline and your body move in that direction of manifesting that actual physical event. You actually go do something that was that idea. And when you go put yourself to basketball practice, would you go put yourself in that beauty cosmology school or whatever like that, right? You actually practice in the witchcraft, the ritual and spell with your body that was on your witchcraft mind. Now you're getting ready to produce, produce results, attention. People know you. People know what that's for. People who lack that knowledge or lack the ability and they need that in their life, you can now be an asset other than a liability in this world. Now you're building in this world, not just a brick the way Mason's teaching you. They're actually teaching you this the concept of building also, where you took that philosopher's stone, that brick, that, that rock, carved it into a brick so it could be a center stone or a cornerstone for it could be the first layer of all the other first sons and daughters, thoughts and feelings that you're going to build on top of it as sharp bricks that you could have something to that you could build as a business or your baby or something to stand on. You know what I'm saying? That could bend in into the one, two, and third dimension to be your title, your character, your representation. When you don't have that energy and you have to go to become a police officer and stuff like not to say anything wrong with these things, but I'm just showing you the space that the shadow government was in to come up with these things. And it's the space you need to be in before you get polarized and then look at it from an equilibrium, unbiased perspective. Now you know how to play the game. So even if you do have to use their world, you know how to transmute it now and not get lost into the sauce and need it for a necessity. And now you can develop enough wisdom, gain enough community, that even if you was to want to do it yourself, you have that ability and you have that intellectual property and you have the knowledge. So your man and women, your thought and feelings shall not perish into the low hanging fruit of your desired thought and feelings. And then you get just become reprobate again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I keep saying I ain't gonna do that. I'm just so, so used to doing that in the PBS channel. But this is how you, <coughs> pardon me, y'all. <coughs> this is how you understand <coughs> crafting. So I just made an example out of Aries, because I'm an Aries. It ain't got nothing to do with ego or nothing like that. But you can do that with any other energy. You can see in a fixated planet, I mean, in a fixated areas, when the sun is in that position, sun going into Taurus. If things give birth and arise during the beginning of spring, Aries, in Taurus, you see things being sustained. You see things being um, constructed. So it could be stubborn or consistent, but it's being stable in one area. So it's being built upon. So that patience energy is being developed. So we develop a character out of that because we see plants start to grow in Aries and we start to see them grow and sustain themselves. We start to actually see them sustain themselves. And build on to whatever that they're doing as far as it being in tour season. So we can build concepts and structures of, oh, this is stability. This is security. You know what I'm saying? This is stable. So these are characteristics that we bring out spiritually from the right brain, um, temperament, spiritual side, astrology. And then look at the right timing to do these things that would be much more sufficient, a.k.a. the astronomy and when the sun is actually in these positions or when there aren't to take that alchemy and to know where the sun is at at the moment so we can know how to adjust it even if the sun is in a negative position towards that original construct that we developed when the sun was in that the position it was in before it went to the opposite position you see what i'm saying and therefore if you know the possible so if you pull the energy from taurus patience right or being stable or bringing things to the surface level so you have something to stand on putting your cards on the table so there's no behind the scenes things going on right when the sun going to scorpio let's say you still got a goal that you're directing that taurus energy towards and the sun is in scorpio you might manifest opposite um events and negative situations that don't go in your favor if you didn't understand the astronomy aspect left brain timing you forgot the timing that the sun was in scorpio so when you know the timing astronomy and then you know the spirituality to make a character out of something with and be observing nature so you're not a fool with it astrology 
then you would know the character you encapsulated when the sun was in Scorpio. And you would know if you using a Taurus encapsulated and we're experiencing the sun in Scorpio and you're using patience as Taurus, you know that it got possibilities of manifesting opposite energies where you can manifest bring it something to the surface and still attract individuals that's manipulating at things so you know that's a possibility so you know how to not allow that to be like oh this ain't my time to do something no you know that's the time to you know better so you could play the vessel for god and adjust it so it could play out as an even balance match not a head-on collision when it's the opposite energy and therefore still create patience even when you're dealing with manipulation still uh create construct and building even when you're dealing with conniving or you're dealing with things that's beneath the surface and things that's beneath the surface or manipulation will be dealt with in a much more sufficient manner, even if they was to derive. You see what I'm saying? So that's helping you craft out or learn the true kind of concept of astrology and astronomy. So at this point, when you start to get into the details, that's adding more flavor. When a person know what they doing, they're a bad mamma jamma. So when you when you get into the devil in the details, that's when you get into what's your specific sign and energy. And a specific sign and energy of the transits in the sky at the moment. And then that's when you get into, all right, I understand my character, my failures and my positive scenarios when it comes to my expression. And then I understand how if it's a sextile trine or, or something like that based upon how I'm relating if the stars aligning or not with me in the sky. Now that's you getting into details to see how you working with your own magic to even do magic itself objectively. You're learning your subjective magic. My alignment and this alignments themselves, astrology and your good timing. The time you was born, astronomy and the time is in the sky. Then when you, and, and, uh, the physical representations, astronomy. Then when you encapsulate it the way I'm speaking about it, like an alchemist, that's when you're just now a, a, a superior a superior spirit because now you're not in your own selfish subjective energies and biases and and now you're able to have the most clearest perspective when you're interacting with the global objective aspect of it you know what I'm so you're able to do it at will thou wilt shall be done type circumstance where you're controlling the chakras you're controlling the, the direction of the universe you're you're controlling the solar system the ideas you come up with is what society have to follow you see what i'm saying so that's how you you're, that's how you get into the detail if you're practicing any yave yave type of spells or or rituals and stuff like that it just give you more trains of thoughts and line of reasonings of going down where i'm taking you for yourself and stuff like that now and for the most part and then when you start to uh, harness these things for you to remember them you give them names you give that you turn them into a golem and spirits get encapsulated because spirits become aware so you even know what spirits is coming in and out based upon people who fucking and knowing what desires they are so let's say we ran a world right and let's say we run in a world based upon wanting the wanting the world to be living out in this type of society way that that flare up a certain chakra that we want the world to be built in we already know what space we're putting all spirits in so all other spirits that want to come here we know that those spirits going to be in that space and therefore we know what spirits is coming in and out you know what i'm saying based upon when you're fucking spiritually everything based on your experiences is the accumulation of your fart cloud the spirits that's in that space that's trying to get born or create situations for for you they're in that space by default that's how you got here but we're talking about specific spaces right now and if you're in a space spiritually that the government put you in based upon what they made you react or respond to to your mind as a spirit you as a soul you jumped into that mind that spaceship and you live in that city that you aware of those type of desires right so if those things on your mind in the middle of you being yourself with your partner to get ready to have sex any spirit that's becoming aware to be in those forms to, to become a child or your situation is going to be of such right and this is how the shadow government create reincarnation single file water line for everybody to be behind george washington even when you don't want to go in that same type of spiritual space aka just reincarnate and join another religion when you're born again work again and feel like that's the only thing you want to do and talk preppy and stuff that is is that's 
to break it down as simple as possible so you can understand what's going on. This is why adrenaline is so important. Because adrenaline come from what? Thoughts and feelings. This is how we make organs. Blood cells. That's what it is. So adrenaline, what a blood cycles is specific. Because you can't have a you can't really produce, you could become stale if you're not having new experiences to develop new thoughts and feelings. Because new thoughts and feelings, whether negative or positive, based on the experience, built a large accumulation of blood of accumulation that condenses into blood and uh, blood and fleshly fluid. And when you have a large condensing, it's a large condensing as blood, which we call blood rush. And and blood rush is adrenaline. Now, a reason the reason why this specific blood flow is so important because you can't have an extreme adrenaline without producing a new thought. So that new thought is a character that condenses and become, if it's an extreme one, it's adrenaline, and adrenaline is a physical reaction or stimuli to a new thought that we could break, bring in this reality, condense, give it a name, create jobs around or characters that we can act out. So teamwork makes the dream work. It can accumulate and we can reincarnate into that new body, but we can live out the society in that way to, before it becomes that via evolution. Because it's creation, mind, mutation, collection of mind, evolution, the condensing of it over time. You see know what I'm saying? So if they want y'all to live and look like animals, this is the starting point of it. You know what I'm saying? That'd be the starting point of it. So this is why adrenaline is so important. So this is why they practice things even if it's sexual or even if it's bungee diving or even if it's uh 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 uh, skiing or air diving uh, airplane diving and stuff like that it's not what you actually doing with the body it could be anything but the body is the ritual and spell and the witchcraft on your mind is trying to go get a new thought and feeling or do something that's new so have a new experience and we already been having so many mundane experiences you know humanity then created extreme ones like bungee diving and stuff like that because now humanity getting bored and we're not transforming and transmuting and creating weird alchemies and you know what i'm saying because destruction develops us to know better next time because this is what we're doing with the mind as a spirit we get out of that form that in form that information that constellation and once it, it, we learn everything out of it we 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 expand because the spirit always contracting and expanding so that's why everything it created around it has an expiration date but also has a pulse because when the spirit is experiencing and it expand and contract in the form it created around it as a mind, that's the first form of stimuli, your first body, your first world. And when you expand out of it, you become free. Physical death or metaphysical death, spiritual birth. But then you go, you create another one that mimic it, but just better than that last one. And that becomes spiritual death, metaphysical or physical birth. And it's what we're constantly doing. The spirit is never naked. That's when it's unconscious. Once the spirit develops an awareness, that's subconscious. So the spirit always have the ability to create another subconscious, another mind. So once one mind go that developed into consciousness, a physical form, the spirit always has the ability to be eternal and create another internal mind, information, something to be in to condense, to become a physical form, the external. You know what I'm saying? So it's eternal, internal, external internal your spirit soul spirit all of us soul your individual solo spirit eternal internal the mind you create to encapsulate yourself in and the uh, external the body it condense it the mind condenses and become you see what i'm saying so when you lack thought and imagination and feelings your organs start to get dry up because you're not producing no even even small portions of adrenaline that's not considered adrenaline just your natural water chakra chakra condensing into blood flow and then you, you will manifest a situation that's either physically or mentally you will want to kill yourself or physically be in an accident or something like that. So when you lack care, you're manifesting the mechanism of death and, and never fail. So anytime you start lacking care, if you're doing it on small percentage levels throughout the day and the week, you'll, you'll start isolate yourself and have a lack of wanting to be around people. If you do it a lot more, you will start harming yourself by your desires that you're in that's not good if you're doing it even more you might even physically start harming yourself like slitting your wrists and stuff and if you do it anymore you might not even care and completely kill yourself or jump off a roof or slit your wrists and stuff all because you manifested a lack of care and sometimes before you kill yourself you might manifest being at the wrong place wrong time type stuff too thank you so much for the donation lady satan i appreciate that from the bottom of my heart real stuff 
So when you lack care, you lack chest charity in your heart, heart chakra is dried up. You're not producing no mental thought feeling to produce as adrenaline to make you want to do anything. So your heart become dry. The heart chakra become dry and your actual heart start to lack blood flow. And those type of blood flow create nervous systems to make you act in certain ways that manifest certain people, places and things that represent that same characteristics that will produce an event that represent that mind state. That's very holistic, destructive and shadow priestly. You see what I'm saying? And deathly. So y'all got to be careful. Make sure you always have some form of care down here. I don't care if it's a gift or a talent. Don't let nothing in this world persuade you with something different. And persuade you with something you don't need to care about. Just because they don't care about it. Your life, your life. You came here for a purpose. It ain't had nothing to do with you wanting validation. God ain't say your purpose is to get validation. That was wrong. I'm saying. We got five minutes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to kick this down. I want to get back to work. So I can finish uh, up. I got to upload. What's today? Sunday. I want to at least upload this mixtape Tuesday. Just, I know I was supposed to be been uploaded. But I want to make sure everything right. I ain't got no fillers. You know what I'm saying? Or nothing like that. And then I'm going straight at everybody. You know what I'm saying? And it, but in a creative way. You know, I don't really get in people's personal life. I'm just music. Music and putting, dropping my nuts. I'm allowed to drop my nuts. I'm allowed to drop my nuts. So everybody else do it. And in the regular world, it ain't nothing wrong with it. Well, I'm spiritual and let me do it. But the way a spiritual person do it, y'all ain't going to like it. Let's bring that into existence. Let's bring that into existence. You know what I'm saying? Real stuff. Other than that, for my spiritual people out there, yeah, we about to take over. But understand the metaphysics that I'm actually talking about. Because instead of you thinking I'm going to break down, which I'm going to do live streams on this. It's like really just part one. But you might have thought, oh, you're going to break down specifically Sagittarius, specifically Capricorn, specifically Pisces, specifically Aquarius, specifically Aries. No, I'm giving you the generality of something. So when you do learn these things, as you develop in wisdom from the polarized energies, and then when you start to get into the objective, non-subjective concept of it to utilize it as an alchemist, this video or live stream or lecture, will, you will understand it much more clearly. Because And then you won't have to be at the back seat of anything. You'll already be up, 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 jump, ready to go. So there's a lot of things where my level of knowledge, it's a lot of things you have to learn on your own to reach there. That ain't got nothing to do with me teaching you every uh, every part of the way. So sometimes that's why I be taking people five, six years to even understand what I be saying. Because sometimes a word or a drawing might not be enough. God might got to create an actual event and situation in your own life that ain't even got nothing to do with a word that that correspondence will be able to blend them two together and then the word will make sense and something like that. And sometimes it take a personal experience yourself when you're out and about thinking you're on a godly mission before you can actually get on one to actually experience that, you know, so to actually know it, you see what I'm saying, to even understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like growing up, if you're sheltered, you got a family that probably shelter you, and then you come across a person cursing or being a certain way, they might still be getting light. But in your mind, you might not be able to understand it and things of that nature because you probably haven't had that person experiences to know what they had to do and what they didn't have to do and what comfort zones they felt and what correspondences they got, success or negative, for them to even be that way that's totally opposite from things you haven't experienced before and stuff like that. So if you don't consider that and you're just lost in the sauce thinking that the world revolves around you and this person is just totally negative, but no, it's just they're a different experience than you, then this is what make you uh, not have a full understanding of things. You know what I'm saying? So you might end up being a fool anytime you express it when you lack knowledge. And then someone else who may understand it but may understand your background too. They might look at you like you don't like you're stupid, and you might be looking at them, expecting them to understand everything that you're saying. And then once they come at you in the way of the energy from your background, saying something that you understand, but also understanding the other background, 
to make you feel wrong a little bit, it would take that individual that God would use as a vessel for you to wake up. And hopefully you don't become a narc and start to make that person a weird enemy and, so, and start to say they think they know too much or something like that because you don't want your mind to change that you got a comfort zone and lie to yourself about. See what I'm saying? Life get deep in all areas. I've been in every, I was born, even though I'm from the hood this time, I was born in all geographical locations. I was all genders. I was all species. Okay. Uriel ain't going to tell you no lie. We, we can start talking about fish life and stuff like that and break it down. And, and, I, and I'll be making it make sense with humans and stuff. And you'll be like, it's really like that, though. It's really like that. It's really like that. I remember, like, like it's yesterday. Even when I was a fish. You know what I'm saying? I was sharks, all kind of stuff. That's how I know a lot of y'all mothers and stuff. Somebody left the zoo open, uh, you know what I'm saying, before they made the TLC and the Safari Channel. Somebody left the, the, the goddamn Zoolander Jurassic Park gates open and stuff like that back in 1702 uh, and stuff like that. And then that's how a lot of y'all got here and stuff like that. Because I, I, I remember those times. I remember those times. So sometimes you can't always like, you know, be upset when you're looking at your family pictures and stuff like that and start to see Uncle Timmy and, you know what I'm saying, Auntie Sally, uh, Gorilla kn gorilla Knuckle Face and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? you can't really start, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, your grass fed pet possum hanging upside down in the back of grandma's tree in the backyard, uh, face, uh, auntie. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Uh, Uncle Raccoon Face Jimmy and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start thinking, like, oh, okay, what Uriel talking about. Oh, okay, that must be right. Oh, okay. So I'm from a different spiritual tribe. Yeah, okay, that's why I'm different. See, now you can start feeling better about yourself. Oh, sassy Uriel, you know what I'm saying? You know, Uriel chakra. Make you feel gooder about life, better about life now. You ain't got to accept all these generational curses and stuff like that. You can sit there and whatever grandma say, you can think in your mind, well, that ain't me though, that ain't my spirit. You can feel like that now. You can really be like that now. You know what I'm saying? Real stuff. You're like, yeah, but my my spiritual predecessors, you know, I was when didn't come from the zoo. Like, like you can really feel like that now. I mean, really, you know what I'm saying? Real stuff. Don't let y'all be ashamed. A lot of y'all in high school getting out of going to college and stuff like that, especially in high school, you got in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Your family members and stuff got to come get you because you got suspended or something like that. See, there's reasons you got suspended at school. But these people are back at your crib that you bring to the school to make you get suspended got to show up at the school. So you even more shank now and stuff like that. So you're like, damn, I don't know. Like I'm bringing the Jurassic Park to the school. I ain't going to never get in trouble again. I don't want nobody seeing these smack monkeys. Y'all saying so a lot? You see you know what I'm saying? You de you're dealing with a lot of stuff right now, but listening to this live stream help your mind better. You be like, oh, okay, this, I just got lost from my spiritual tribe, and I had a certain character I wanted to do. I had a bunch of friends, and they came down here as, oh, my parents, siblings, my next door neighbor, these smack monkeys I'm going to school with. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so the universe is going through me. It ain't happening to me, for me. I ain't got to accept this. Y'all you know said nothing. Whoever laughing at this smack mucker who came and got picked me up from school, they, they they just laughing at them. And my heart, God told me it ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all you know said God told you know I said real stuff. Well, I'm telling you, God is powerful. God is powerful. God is powerful, God damn it. Y'all you know said real stuff. <laughs> I love how y'all put a ball in my heart. Real stuff. And God, let me go ahead and finish work so I can go ahead and be free. Real stuff. Y'all better remember, God is powerful. God got something for you. You know what I'm saying?